action in the race against time with guest star Louis Nye. Now, here's your host on Beat the Clock, Jack Nye. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it, but please save your applause for some very special guests on the show today and an, ex an especially great guest star, Mr. Louis Nye. But the guest special guests today are brother and sister teams. And who are the first, Gene? Our first couple is Cal Wilson and his sister, Linda. And these are the Wilsons. This is Linda. Yes. And you are, of course, Cal's uh, younger sister, That's aren't right, you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long have you known each other? <laughs> well, pretty funny. No, how do you get along with, with Cal, really? Very well. Very well. Mm -hmm. Is that true, Cal? By the way, hello, sir, and welcome. Pleased to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. You look a little like you're uptight or something. Oh, just a little nervous. Just a little nervous. <laughs> okay. Tell you what, why don't you take your sister Linda over there to the bench and sort of relax. We'll call upon you very shortly. Next brother and sister team, Gene. Our second couple is Brian Lasosa and his sister Wendy. Sosa. Very good. And you are Wendy, of course. And your brother's name is Brian. Hello, Brian. Hi, How are you? Not bad yourself? Very well. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, when you were younger, did you uh, play games together? Yeah. All the time? All the time. Good. Did you play uh, football, baseball, stuff like that? Not really. Not that Nothing? Not that rough. Nothing that rough? <laughs> well, you mean indoor games like Monopoly, things like that you play together. Well, we're going to put you to work here to play a little more like a, an outdoor game on your first stunt. And I wish you very good luck. And let's see you beat the clock and win some money for us, OK? <laughs> Step over here, and I'll tell you what we want you to do. We have three bowling pins set up on the floor, and we want Brian to knock over any one of those bowling pins to beat the clock. Here's the clock that tells you how much time you have to do it. 55 seconds, and here's how. Pardon? 55 seconds. 55 seconds. If you come over here, please, Wendy. Here are the balls that we will use to knock over the bowling pins. You stand back here and kind of, are you right-handed, honey? Uh -huh. Yeah, kind of bowl them. You know what I mean by bowling along the floor and they'll go up, flying up off the ramp. And you, Brian, are kneeling on this pillow, wearing this football helmet, and you give it a shot with your head, deflecting the ball over toward the bowling pins to knock one over. See, it'll come off the end of the ramp. And you butt it right. like a goat, OK? Does that fit pretty good? Yeah. All right, fine. Knock over one to beat the clock. Ready? And go. Oh, harder than that, honey. So that it goes up in the air for it. That's the idea. Now you got it. Give it a shot. Oh, that was close, Brian. Out of here. Boom. Look at the pins now, boys. Here we go. You'll do it. You'll do it. Oh, that's over. We have a little time left. You want to try for a bonus? Okay. How's the supply? You want to try for one, Brian? You okay? You comfortable? All right. For a $50 bonus, get either one of the remaining two. Ready and go. Right. Stop the clock. Now, here are a brother and sister that get along very well. Let's see how you do at the cash board. I already have $50 going for you. Which letter? The O in clock. Very good. The O in clock. Very center of the bottom word. And another $25 for seven dollars Okay, it's time once again to uh, say hello to our guest star for the week. Ladies and gentlemen, a nice warm welcome for Louis Nye. <laughs> Buddy. You have a nice tan. Yeah, well, I've been out in the sun yeah. in California, you know. Yeah. How do you like living out there, by the way? It's really? nice, but you never know. You get up in the morning sometimes, and you got a house there or a garage, and it's there. And you get up in the morning, you look, and it's there. Yeah, you mean when it rains. It just moves. Yeah, yeah, the rain just loosens it up. And but you otherwise, know, you enjoy it. Otherwise, I like it. I like to get together. I like being here, too. This is exciting, yeah, too. Is. <laughs> Reading the newspapers, you know. Uh, I didn't know you were bilingual. I am. <laughs> I can tell. Did you folks understand what he said? Huh? Oh, say it again. Oh. 
Je te remets ici euh, littérature, c'est vraiment sorti de par papier, de ressenti, de vraiment autorité, wanted ads, c'est répété, j'en curité, pif steak, mais rappelé, les gens cute auto, et rappelé. Mais tu remets sans cul de peau. Now you understand it, right? You know? Oh, you're, you're kidding me. Yeah, well, I guess I am a rascal. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you rascal, come on over and say hello to the teams. Brothers and sisters on the show today, Lou, these are the La, La Sorsas. <laughs> Brian and Wendy. And Hi. that's Linda Wilson over there and her brother, the Cal. Attractive young ladies. Aren't they? Yes, sir. Linda, how about coming over here with Louie and I and the two of you doing stunt to beat the clock? And we're going to do it on the platform up here, Louie. Yes, step up here if you would, please. Mm -hmm. Louie, we're going to ask you... Would you like some candy? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Honey, want to stand just over here, because we're going to hand Louie a great long board to hold and support on the table. You'll get back at the end there, Louie, on the end. The end, that's the fellow. Now I'm going to take one of these little round sticks and show you, Mr. Nye, that this will roll across the table and pass between these milk cartons without knocking them over. And that's what we want you to do. Roll it down across the table so it goes through there. To beat the clock, how much time does he have to do it? He has 50 seconds. Yes, holding up firmly to the end of the board. Honey, your job is to place these on here. And you, of course, uh, can control the speed, Louis, by raising or lowering the board. And In also other words, to help her. Yes. And the idea is to knock off those... Uh, it's to go between them to without, between them. without I want knocking you to make them sure. off. Yes. Right. Do not All knock right. them off. There Do you not are. knock them off. Yes, she places them on. <laughs> Do not knock them <laughs> off. I realize. Okay. That. All right. Ready? <laughs> and go. for the time remaining on the clock, $20 each time that happens again, okay? Good luck, go. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You aim, you got the board. Why don't you come over here and join Linda now, as we invite you to take a letter from our cash board, and we'll see how much you win. <laughs> it wasn't very lucky that first time, was it, Louis? <clears throat> well, um, we knocked one off. I think I'll take the first C and clock. First C and clock? Okay, let's see what it says for you. Twenty-five dollars. <laughs> Okay, friends, stay right there, and after these uh, few words, we'll be back with Louie and I, and, of course, more of the Box. See, Brian is sitting here eyeballing the props for the next stunt, and we'll tell you what it's all about in a minute, but first we have some gifts for you. Gene will tell you about them. Gene, go. Happy Legs Extra Sheer, the super sheer pantyhose that hugs your legs like a lovely new skin. It's made by Iron Weave, the first family of guaranteed hosiery, and a deluxe kit of roll-on decorator paints from Artex, the complete home and fashion decorator paint in a tube. Artex Hobby Products, Lima, Ohio. Okay, Jack. Thank you, Jane, and Brian and Wendy, if you would join me, please. Stand here for a second. Now, Gail's going to place an uh, empty uh, juice tin on that table. Sharon's placing one on that table. And we want you to knock them both off the table with this ball. Now, we'll explain further after we look at the clock to see how much time you have to do it. You have 50 seconds. Now, the ball will travel in either direction you wish. Down that way first. Let's try it that way. You'll swing it out that way first. It'll knock that tin off. Then, without touching it, it will continue on across and knock over that tin. In other words, on one swing, it must knock over both tins. But now I'm going to explain to you why the mat is on the floor. Would you sit down? 
with the ball between you, you over here, honey, and you here, Brian, facing each other. Sit down. That's the boy. You're going to use your feet to push the ball to make it swing. Now, when you get it going over that way, get your feet out of the way so when it comes back this way, it knocks this tin off. You understand? Both must fall off on one swing. You have 50 seconds. Ready? And go. Ah. solo stunt for him coming up. We'll give our teams oh. a chance to bet on either the clock or the star, and the right bet will earn $50 oh, for each do? team. What do oh, I do? I'm going to tell you, Louie, if you will join oh, me over here. Oh, I have to climb that pole. No, not quite. Would you step over here, please, Louie? Oh. We're going to uh, have you seated on the chair. Now, you'll notice protruding from the pole a very small uh, stick. Yes. We want this hoop trapped like so oh. to beat the clock. However, you must remain seated at all times, yes. and you may use only one hand to send it up the pole and have it stick up there. It has to get over the little thing. Right. Like a dad. Okay? We'll check the clock now. We'll need to see how long. Yeah. 55 seconds. Will we'll I take it to... off now? Yeah, I'll get it for you. You will. Yeah, I just don't want you rehearsing while I'm over here talking to Brian and Wendy to see whether they want to bet on the clock or the star. Like a weird religion. Star. On the star. Okay, fine. <laughs> It's a totem pole and gal and Linda. Unstar. Okay, wait. One hand only. And go. Oh, that leave me alone. Don't be so violent. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at that. It's a new thing. Oh, oh. Easy to manage. Stop the clock! <laughs> <laughs> we have some more time left. Want to earn some more money for them? Oh. See if you can win some more money. Each time you hook it, I'll give each team an extra ten dollars. Okay. I like, I like you have about uh, a little over thirty seconds left. Right. Go. Anytime. Thirty seconds. I'm wrap with the flayed mouth. I'm the skip. Ah. 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 You rotten kid. Ah. 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 Oh, I'm getting to know how. Earth another day. Oh, what do they want? Home? I can't stop now. Well, Get a take, doctor. Why you? Why you doing that? Get a that? doctor. This. I'm a team. I'm a team. I'm a team. I'm a team. <laughs> this is very nice. <laughs> Lou, well, you did it. You beat the clock the first time around. Lou, that means that each of our teams add $50 to their winnings. Congratulations. And now we have a gift for Louie and I. Gene, what is it, please, sir? A wonderful selection of St. Mary's soft velvety towels and Jack Hard solids and prints in a variety of colors. St. Mary's instant high fashion for bed and bath. Okay, Jack. Back with our yes and no segment. Oh, I don't use them. One, two, three, four.
Extreme Dodgeball, Tuesday nights at 10 on GSN. I think we have some nice gifts for Cal and Linda Wilson, and let's ask Gene to tell them about them, please. Gene? For culinary pleasure, kick them on soy sauce, the all-purpose sauce that brings out the best in meats, fish, fowl, and vegetables. Kick them on the exciting new taste tang, and a handsome man's ring with a claret red Lindy Star in 14 karat gold from Union Carbide. Lindy Stars, available in 12 fashion colors. Okay, Jack. Thanks, Gene. Now, Cal and Linda, Brian and Wendy, you can see your names on these respective machines as you go... Be seated uh, just behind, machine bearing your name. Louis, if you would join me over here, sir. I will uh, take this stool. Warren has a microphone for you, if you'd be seated there, please, sir. It's our yes and no segment, in which I ask our couples a question. You think about what your answer is going to be, either yes or no. And while you're thinking about it, Louis is going to go down the line and dial up in front of you what he thinks you will answer to that question. And each time he matches what you actually answer, $25 goes in the pot for our two teams to split. So, in no way indicate what your answer is going to be until I ask for it. Here's question number one. As far as men and women are concerned, and romance is concerned, do you believe that opposites attract? This is in speaking in the romantic vein. It's an old saying. Do you believe that opposites attract? Now, Louis, if you dial up the answer you think they will give to that question, We'll give you 25 bucks to split each time he is right. <clears throat> Do opposites and Wendy's all the way down the line, if you please. Attaboy. And Cal. And Linda. Okay, let's see how he does. Do you believe that opposites attract Brian? Yes. Yes, and that's a match for 25. <laughs> Wendy. No. No, and that's a match. 50 bucks in the box. Cal. Yes. Yes, no match there. He thought you'd say no. Linda? No. No, no match there. But he got two out of four. Now, as uh, how about you? Do you believe think that the opposite's trapped? Yes. You do? Yeah. All right. Gail is neutralizing the answers. That's it. That's it. Kids, have you read a full-length novel in the last month? Have you read a full-length novel in the last month? How do you think they're going to answer that? I believe you go down and dial up either yes or no. In other words, are these young people readers or watchers? <laughs> now, we ask for the truth. Brian, we start with you. Have you read a full-length novel in the last month? No. No is a match for $25. Wendy? Yes. Yes, she has. No match. She said you hadn't. Cal, have you? No. No, that's another match for $25. Linda? No. No? Another match. What's $25? Here's an interesting one, kids. If you could live the last three years of your life over again, is there anything you would change, knowing what you know now? If you could live your, the last three years of your life all over again, would you change anything, knowing what you know now? Hindsight, in other words. Okay. Oi. Looking deeply into their eyes, giving them the double O. No, 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 no. Okay, let's check and see how he did. Brian? Yes. He would change. Wrong guess. Wendy? Yes. She would change too. Wrong guess. Cal? No. That's a match. <laughs> Cal's happy with his life the last three years, right? <laughs> Well, let's see how Linda feels about it. No. No? Oh, another miss. Gee, what would you change? Uh, who said yes over there? I did. Yeah, what would you change, Brian? I don't know. I'd get a, I don't know, a job earlier or something. You what? A job earlier or something. And how about you, Wendy? Oh, all kinds of things. <laughs> oh, oh, you don't, you don't want to go into them? You no. wouldn't care to go into them? No, you wouldn't change, but you, and you would, I would not. Know. Okay, then I'll ask you what you would change. All right. Gail will neutralize them once again as we ask the final question. <laughs> How about today's youth? We'll find out. From a standing position, without bending your knees, can you bend over and touch your toes? Don't indicate whether you can or not. Yet, as Louis takes a guess, can they bend over and touch their toes without bending their knees?
<laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> All right, let's start with Brian. Holy mackerel. It's all right, go oh. ahead. Brian, can you? Yes. Said you couldn't. You rotten kid. <laughs> Wendy, can you? Yes. All right, good. That's a match and worth $25. Cal? <laughs> yeah? Yes. You can? That's another match for $25. Linda? Yes. That's another match for $25. And we thank you. Okay, we can all go back to the bench now. Relax, I'll get the totals on what we won here. That much went in the pot? Hey, that's real good, Louis. As a result of our little yes and no uh, question and answer period, $225 goes into the pot to be split by our couples. Very good. That means we'll be right back with our contestants. Well, let's give some friends in the audience a chance to get the uh, stick between the milk cartons. We've separated them a little more than we had them for Louie and I. We'll give you three tries each, $5 for each one that goes through without knocking over milk cartons, and go. Now, you can tilt the board to guide it. That's the idea. Hey! hey. hey. Guide it right down there. Yeah. Two out of three. That's out of three tries. Cash department goes as follows. Gal and Linda Wilson, and because of the uh, splitting of the money, we have some cents in here, so you have $187.50 to take home. We hope that you will spend it wisely and in good health. And uh, Brian and Wendy, a little better than that, $237.50. As we go to our board now and clear it all, let's see where the piggies were today. Wow, up on top it looks like. Ooh, pretty heavy roll. 200, right in the middle of the doggone board. How about that? All right, there they are. All rebuilt for you. Once more, thanks to our guest star, Louis Nye. Thank you, my friend. See you tomorrow. Friends, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Promotional fees paid by Pontiac, featuring the sensibly small Ventura 2. Beautiful Pontiac design integrity. Built tough to last, smooth to run in service, keeps Pontiac a cut above. Prices, products, and services mentioned were provided and or paid for by the manufacturers. This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production.